So this time we're going to be looking at the tapping pattern from the second half of my version of Summertime. And uh, essentially what we got here is a bunch of ninth chords that move around. Um, and the pattern is really quite simple actually once you get used to it. All we're doing is we're playing a minor nine, we're playing a ninth pattern which is a bunch of fifths stacked on top of each other. So for A minor, 12th fret with the first finger on the A string, 14th fret of the D string for E, uh, 16th fret of the G string for B, then we're going to take our right hand and tap with our first, with our index finger on the 17th fret for a G, and then on the 17th fret of the G string for a C. That is the shape. So that shape moves around. It starts on A, then it moves down to an E, then we move it down two frets, transpose that to a G minor and an E, uh, a D minor. So that's really simple. The next bit, which is harder, um, but it is all using ninth chords still. So, but this this gets to be tricky because it's a real stretch. So you must make sure you're you've warmed up and your hands are stretched before you attempt the rest of this exercise. Okay. Um, so after we've gone down to the D minor for the second, we voice the melody with our right hand. So that's basically playing uh, e, uh, e, C, D up on the 21st fret. 17th fret, 19th fret of the G string. Um, and then we play a G minor again. And then we shift the left hand down one fret, transpose that down one fret, play the ninth shape again. So you're getting F, uh, sh F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. But we keep right hand in the same position, again playing the F natural and the A sharp. So what this gives us is a G, is a G, is an F sharp major 7 with a ninth in it as well. Okay, and then we shift our left hand down, we shift the whole shape down one fret again to get an F major 7 with a ninth in it. So that's the 8th fret on the A string for an F, 10th fret for a C on the D string, 12th fret on the G for a G, then you're tapping 14th fret on the D string for, uh, for an E, for the major 7th and then the 40th fret on the G string for an A so and then we're going to shift that whole shape down a major 3rd to D flat and uh, so here we have D flat on the 9th 
fret of the E string, play the eleventh fret of the A string, fourteenth fret, thirteenth uh, fret of the A of the D string, fifteenth fret of the A string, fifteenth fret of the D string. So that's giving us D flat, A flat, E flat, C, and F for a D flat major seven with a nine. And then we voice the melody. So that is a playing the 15th fret of the G string, which is a C, dropping it a semitone to B, back to the C, and then go chromatically from the 14th fret to the 16th fret. So A, A sharp, B. Okay, and then after that we have an E, an E minor nine shape. So that's the same as the A minor that we did at the first in the first place. It's just it's played from the ninth, uh, the seventh fret of the A string instead. So that's got E, B, F sharp, D, G. And then we go down to a C major, C major nine with the seven, C major seven with the nine. So that's the eighth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret, C, G, D, B, fourteenth fret, the A string, fourteenth fret of <coughs> the D string for an E. And then we play this little sliding part, which is uh, all on the D on the G string, going from the 16th fret for a B to the 14th fret for an A. And we slide it down to the G, and each time we play, we play a B in the bass. So it's like that. Um, you can also tap the B in the bass there as well and move down to the B. Last uh, part is a. Uh, once I've hit the G, I pull off to an open G, and then I tap down the scale, hammer onto an E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, hammer on to the D with my right hand, down to the eighth fret for a C, pull off to a B, 12th fret of the A string with my right hand, pull off to a G, pull off to an F sharp, slide down to an E, and then hammer on to a C. is essentially it for the intro. I know it's very very it's very difficult uh, but um, some of the concepts in there I'm sure will be very useful to you. I'm not expecting you to practice it note for note although if you do all the better um, but I'd be even happier uh, you know to see you guys take the concepts and put them into your own playing. Um, that's what it's all about. So I'll play it through once again very slowly for you.
slight mistake at the the end there, but. So in the book it's all tabbed out so that you can you can see what notes you're playing, you can <coughs> read the tabs and hopefully glean a lot of information from that. Okay. Thanks for watching.